nearly six decades, it has been a symbol of one of the most elite fighting groups in the world. A symbol of excellence, a badge of courage, a mark of distinction in the fight for freedom. The soldiers who fill the force are known around the world as quiet professionals who live up to the words inscribed on the crest of their berets. De oppresso liber, to free the oppressed. Soldiers who seek to join the elite ranks of the Green Berets must first be tested through the Special Forces Assessment and Selection Course, one of the most grueling selection processes in the world. Success equates to being a team member, but first candidates must prove their strength, intelligence, motivation, trainability, and influence. Those who make it through the crucible of assessment and selection move on to the Special Forces Qualification Course. The SFQC prepares the soldier for the career that lies ahead. Lasting between 52 and 95 weeks, the SFQC focuses on core tactical competencies, individualized team skills, survival, language, and cultural expertise. Candidates study the lineage and history of the regiment and the importance of keeping not only their bodies, but their minds in peak condition through the Special Operations Center for Enhanced Performance. Students hone their warfighter skills in small unit tactics, advanced rifle marksmanship, urban warfare operations, and Special Forces common tasks. These skills are key to the Special Forces soldiers' combat specialties of precision targeting and crisis response. And soldiers seeking to wear the Green Beret must complete survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, also known as SEER, which is designed to teach students how to survive and return with honor if captured. The core of a Special Forces Operational Detachment Alpha, or ODA, is comprised of its primary military occupational specialties. The detachment commander is a captain and has full command, authority, and responsibility for the team. The Alpha receives instruction on the capabilities of the entire team in order to employ them at their maximum capacity in war or peace. They must master all of the warrior skills as well as the leadership skills that will enable them to successfully lead a team. Alphas personify the warrior diplomat and during overseas deployment, they may advise and lead an indigenous combat force. The weapons sergeant is an expert in the employment of US and foreign weapon systems, including small arms, mortars, air defense systems, and anti-tank weapons found throughout the world. The Bravo assists the detachment commander in preparation of operational plans and training of indigenous forces. The engineer sergeant is highly skilled in the planning and construction of buildings, bridges, and field fortifications. They are experts in all areas of demolitions, including landmines and improvised munitions. On deployment, the Charlie plans, supervises, and performs all aspects of combat engineering and light construction. The medical sergeant is a specialist in trauma management, infectious diseases, cardiac life support, and surgical procedures. The Delta is also skilled in basic dental and veterinary science. The Delta is the lifeline in the event a team member receives wounds during combat. Deltas train allied forces and advise and direct the host nation partner's routine, emergency, and preventive medical care. The communications sergeant is the team's link to higher command. Echoes are trained in the setup, use, and repair of common radios and computer networks used throughout the Army. They are experts in cryptographic systems, antenna theory, and radio wave propagation. When deployed, the team relies on the Echo for sending and receiving critical communication. The litmus test for every soldier attending the Special Forces Qualification Course is Robin Sage. 
It is in Robin Sage that soldiers seeking to wear the Green Beret must bring all of their skills together to successfully navigate an unconventional warfare exercise. Held in central North Carolina, the teams must earn the respect, trust, and loyalty of a guerrilla force. In short, they must win the hearts and minds of the people of Pineland in order to complete their mission. Yuyan He Huenhua is the first one of the Taizong. The soldiers and the forces of special forces have to be effective communicators to be able to operate with the Social Security Administration. New Special Forces soldiers will attend the Military Freefall Parachutist Course in Yuma, Arizona. And throughout their careers, they will have the opportunity for advanced training in many of their technical and tactical skills. They will also have the opportunity for advanced education through Army-funded master's and doctorate programs. Green Berets are joining a brotherhood whose legacy has been built on the skills, daring, and wisdom of those who came before them. A symbol of excellence, a badge of courage, a mark of distinction. These are the quiet professionals who wear the Green Beret.